This is Hokkaido. Hokkaido has had a different history than the rest of Japan, but it's hard to describe the history of Hokkaido without explaining who first lived on this northern island. The Ainu are an East Asian ethnic group indigenous to northern Japan and some nearby Russian territories. They are descendants of the Zhaman people that were in Hokkaido a hundred thousand years before the Japanese came. The Zhaman people came to Hokkaido from the Shakalin and the Kuril Islands when there was just land bridges from glaciers during the last ice age. In the late 1800s, the Japanese government forced the Ainu to become Japanese citizens and give up their culture. Some Ainu people still remain in Hokkaido and they have been working to restore the culture and traditions to pass down. I will leave links in the description that I recommend you watch if you want to learn more about the Ainu culture. Hello and welcome back to my channel. We're here today for a long overdue video. I'm in Hokkaido, Japan's largest prefecture and island. So I'm in the city of Hakodate with my friend for a few days and we are just walking around because we were planning on going somewhere that didn't work out that well. As you can see, it's super windy but very snowy. Today did not go as planned, but that is okay because that is just what happens when you are traveling. But we made it to our hotel and we are just hanging out for a little bit before we head back out tonight. One good thing about today was it was calling for a blizzard all day and it hardly snowed at all so it made it a lot more enjoyable to walk around Hakodate and tomorrow's a new day and we have a very full schedule but tonight we're going to walk around Daimon Yokachu Hakodate's only food stall village and we're probably going to get some dinner walk around and then our hotel has an onsen so hopefully we can relax in the onsen tonight for our busy day tomorrow so it seems like most of these places are closed because covid or just it's a weekday or something but here's the area it's cute probably more cute when they're all up and everything so we ended up at this little Italian place in the shopping center and it's very cute and small we both got snow crab pasta and it looks so yummy and this bread There's a cute little light display right in front of Hakodate Station. So here's when you get out of the onsen, you have your hair dryer and sink, 
And then here's your lockers where you put everything while you're in there and then you have a key that you go in with. And they even have a hair dryer and products that are free to use after you're done in the onsen if you want to get ready and continue on with your day. And here is after onsen snack where they get they have little popsicles to stay cool afterwards. Okay, so I'm gonna get ready and get in the onsen. We just got done at the onsen and it was super relaxing and nice they had the onsen of course and then they also had like a cold plunge pool so that was really refreshing and nice and I got a face mask here that I'm going to do and I also got my smeared off and I'm just gonna relax and have a good evening and I'll see you tomorrow morning We are starting our morning off at Starbucks today, the Sakura Cups and Drinks launch. So we're going to have a quick breakfast there and get some goodies. And then we are going to come over here. This is the Red Brick Warehouse District. These are historically significant part of Hokkaido or Hakodate and they've been around since the 20th century but been remodeled since then and there's lots of shops and souvenirs and restaurants inside so it's really cool because they're all brick and we're gonna go walk down there and then on this side is the bay so there's lots of boats and ports over there and then later tonight we're going to be up there on Mount Hakodate. So let's go check out these shops. So I think in here is just restaurants and then the beer hall is in there. They don't open till 11.30. Catholic Church that was founded in 1859. The existing building was built in 1923 and the church stands in front of a narrow stone path paved road called Cha Cha Nabori on the Diocesan Sake Slope. And you can see up there a rooster stands at 33 meters as a guardian of the church. So we're going to go ahead and head inside and check it out. So I, wasn't, so I wasn't actually able to film in there, but here's what the altar inside looked like that was um, given by Pope, what, 15 or something um, after the original building burned down and he gave it as a gift. But there's also several other churches in this area. So I think next we're going to head to the Russian Orthodox Church that is right up this hill up here. So here's the Russian church, but it is closed because they're doing construction. So that's kind of disappointing, but this is what it looks like normally, which it looks really cool. A lot of pretty architecture. And here's a little bit about the church, since we can't go inside. And this is ha Hachiman Zaka Slope. And Hakodate has many slopes like this coming down from the mountain that they uh, put in for fire safety because the town had so many fires and so many casualties. So this was one of the ways they prevented this, but this one is one of the most famous ones because in the summer it has, uh, as you can see, pretty trees and you can look out down to the bay. Here we are at another historical location. 
All these places are really close to each other. So this is the old public hall of Hakodate. After a long day of walking and shopping and exploring the local area, we finally had to stop and get lunch and we got, what is this, crab croquette? So these are little fried crabs and I got local um, chicken and rice uh, hakadate curry. So here is the chicken curry. And it came with a cup of miso broth or soup broth. We are here at our last stop in Hakadate and that is the botanical gardens. It is very nice and pretty. all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i plan to be back soon with another video for our next adventure bye